Five features I use to create Obsidian permanent notes and how I use it to enrich content. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about permanent note creation in Obsidian. In my previous videos, I looked at how I use Settlecaster method with Obsidian, and I also looked at the features that I use to collect source notes into Obsidian. One of the problems I faced with Settlecaster is understanding some of the complex concepts it has and how to apply it. So in this video, I will be looking at how I can use those source notes to generate permanent notes, which are the ideas for the content that I make. In August 2020, I created 68 new source notes and 15 permanent notes, of which three became videos for my YouTube channel. My goal is to collect knowledge about techniques, tools, and hacks related to personal workflow to provide content to people. So if you are interested in seeing these videos, please subscribe. Tags. I use tags to describe the contents of a source note conceptually. As a content writer, there is a need to identify keywords and evaluate keywords. Tags provides a way to do that and also acts as a starting point for permanent notes. Within Obsidian, there are two ways to tag source notes. First method is to create a tag within the note using the hashtag symbol. Second option is to create a note that is the tag and link it within the source note. The benefit of the first method is that you can use the tag pane, which shows the list of tags and the number of notes associated with them. To activate tag pane, select the option in plugin setting in Obsidian. In the second method, the benefit is you can see the tags on the graph view. By doing this, you can start seeing the relationships between tags more clearly to help you discover new ideas. Obsidian can help identify potential notes not linked to the tag note. This is done via the unlinked feature. Regardless of which method you use, I feel by joining different tags together to create permanent notes, you have an opportunity to discover new ideas or solve existing problems which you might not have seen previously. Backlinks. When I started looking at the backlinks feature in Obsidian, I used it to link my permanent notes to source notes, so I knew which source notes led to the permanent note. Over time, I found myself using backlinks for other purposes. One of the main ways I now use backlinks is for source note to source note connections. I sometimes found, as I worked through a permanent note and reread the source notes, I may have further questions that I need to research. When I complete the research, I create a new source note and I add a backlink to the question on that source note. So even though each source note came from a different place, I can see how they relate to each other. What this allows me to do is the next time I create a permanent note, I can see the link between each source note. Once I created permanent notes, I realized that permanent notes alone did not provide sufficient content. So I started linking permanent notes together to create new permanent notes that started as the basis of my new content. Local graph view. In version 0.83 of Obsidian, the developers upgraded the graph view to support graph view starting from a note. Previously, all the notes and its relationships were shown together, and the only benefit I had was helping me find orphan notes. But the upgrade to local graph view means I can pick up a note and see how it relates to other notes. I can open a local graph view on the permanent note by selecting on the three dots on a note and selecting open local graph. If I have any sources linked to that, I can see them on the graph. If I select one of the source notes, we can see that the links are there to other source notes, tag notes and permanent notes. These other notes can help me enrich the original permanent note. Since I'm somebody who likes looking at things visually, the graph view provides me another opportunity for idea discovery. I believe in the future versions, the developers will be implementing filtering to improve the use of the graph view. The more I use Obsidian and capture source notes within it, the more connections I can make. Search. Over time, the developers have improved Obsidian search functionality. I use search to discover new notes that can enrich my permanent notes, and I can see myself using this more as the number of source notes increases over time. The most common searches I use are Boolean search, path search, and searching regular expressions. Let's go through these. The Boolean search covers the following. And search. This uses a space character, and Obsidian will find notes that have each word. Or search. Using or word, Obsidian will find the notes that has any of those words. Not search. Using the minus character omits notes that have those words. Path search allows me to only search for notes from a certain folder. For example, if I want to look at source notes, I would enter the following. 
Obsidian also supports regular expressions. These start with a forward slash in the search box. The main ones I use are correct, matches any text that starts with those characters after it. Dollar, this matches any text that ends with those characters before it. Email, this searches for emails in my notes. I'll provide the email search in the description for you to try out. There are many other types of regular expressions that you can use. And remember, you can save searches in Obsidian for later use. Its Mind mobile app. I've started using Its Mind mobile app to create mind maps for permanent notes when I'm on the go. Using the mind map lets me quickly capture the idea and build out areas to look into further. One of the benefits of XMind is to create mind maps that allows you to use markdown language. Once I've created the mind map in XMind, I click on the three dots. I select the share, I select markdown, then I select my shortcut. The shortcut creates a file with a title and markdown content. The shortcut will ask where to save the file and you need to select the location of the vault. Next time I'm in Obsidian, I can start working on that permanent note. I've also started using IA Writer on the iPad to access my notes and edit them if I'm traveling. I've provided a link in the shortcut library for you guys to use the shortcut if you're interested. Summary. I found that putting knowledge into a system is one thing, but getting knowledge out of it is a lot more difficult if you don't use the right tools in the right way. On my workflow, I started using tags on source notes to help me discover new keywords and create content. I now use tag pane to view those tags. I use backlinks to connect source notes to enrich the research for permanent notes. I use the local graph view in version 0.83 to see the links between notes to discover new content. I leverage the search functionality to identify new source notes that are relevant to the idea that I'm creating. Finally, I've explained how I use its mind on my phone to create mind maps of permanent notes. I'm still learning a lot about the best way to capture notes and extract them in Obsidian. If you have any suggestions, let me know and remember to subscribe if you're interested in techniques, tools and hacks related to personal workflow. Thank you for watching.